Hello. It's Monday, July 13th, 2020. I am Ann Fenless. I'm one of the pastors at Trinity Lutheran Church in Long Lake, Minnesota. And I am really happy that you're here today, taking a, a short listen to this ministry moment. I've been thinking about uh, control lately, and I realize that human beings, we have this propensity, this need, this desire to control as much as we can about life. We see it through biblical stories. We see it in our own lives too. Um, ever since March, though, there's been much about our lives that we can't control. And I was thinking about control and maybe that not being able to control what's going on right now is not such a bad thing for us. Uh, we tend to live our lives in such a way that we, it helps us to ignore that we really want to have control, but we really have very little control. I think of that I Love Lucy episode, you know, the one where Lucy and Ethel are working in the chocolate factory and they're wrapping chocolates on the conveyor belt. They're doing a fine job in the beginning, but then that belt goes faster and faster, and eventually it goes too fast for them to keep up. It's comedy gold, but Ethel and Lucy lose their jobs and they're back again the next week for more zany antics. Real life isn't quite like that. The belt of our lives seems to be going faster and faster these days and it appears that we can do nothing to change that. More keeps being added to that belt and we feel overwhelmed. I feel overwhelmed. There's a lot going on. First, this pandemic, which is still ongoing and changing every single day. It's like you don't know what you're gonna get. And then the killing of George Floyd, the protests for justice, the political divisiveness is certainly increasing. And then the latest thing to be added to that conveyor belt is uh, the retirement of your senior pastor, Brian Froggatt, who has led you eight years. So ever since I found out that Pastor Brian would be retiring, I've been praying for you and I know he has been as well. It's really always hard when a pastor leaves a congregation. You've had hopes and dreams for how Pastor Brian can be involved in the important events of your life, in your future. And now once he's gone, that is no longer a possibility. This is a lot to deal with. But you know what? In spite of all that has happened, of all that is going to happen, we are not alone. We have never been alone. The Holy Spirit has been at work in the life and ministry of Trinity Long Lake since its very first worship service. Even through all the pastoral changes this congregation has had, the one thread, the one constant has been Jesus and the Holy Spirit. It's that Holy Spirit who has been guiding and accompanying Trinity and its faithful members, the communion of saints, every step along the way. And nothing about that is ever going to change. So I am studying this book on Acts, written by Matthew Skinner. It's a uh, Really, it's called Acts of the Apostles is how we know it, but it's really should be called Acts of the Holy Spirit because basically that's who leads us in uh, the church. And um, this chapter I'm going to read from is called Discernment and Change. And we certainly are very well aware of the change that's going on. And it's good for us as faithful people to be discerning of the work of the Holy Spirit, to be on the lookout for where the Holy Spirit is guiding us. So I'd like to read just a short paragraph this for, from, from this book for you, and I think you might find it helpful. Christian communities, as groups called by God to live faithfully, graciously, and boldly, exist on a trajectory. That trajectory involves living into a rhythm of doing what they know to be right and beneficial to their neighbors, while always looking for ways in which God might be calling them to different or additional forms of service in a changing world. 
That trajectory of seeking how to live faithfully is what holds a church's larger story together. It's important to remember that. We have a larger story. And the Holy Spirit is in every single part of that. It's kind of exciting, actually. So it's Monday, and I like to pray on Monday. So will you pray with me, please? Gracious God, thank you for your faithfulness, for the leadership of Pastor Brian for these past eight years. Continue to be with him as he prepares to retire, and prepare our hearts, too, for all that lies ahead. Be with health workers, especially in the places where COVID is spiking. Heal those who are suffering. Comfort the dying. Help us to be aware of the moments when we are attempting to control something so that we can instead place our trust in you. And let us shine the light of your love to everyone around us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Folks, go into this day. Know that the Holy Spirit has gone ahead of you and is preparing your way. We'll see you on Wednesday. Have a good one. Bye-bye.